Italian General Hospital celebrated the end of its COVID outbreak on Tuesday. After the successful containment of its cluster infection, the hospital fully reopened to the public the day before. The hospital is now back at the front line of Taiwan's battle against COVID, helping to run phase two tests for a local vaccine candidate. The crisis is over. Taoyuan General Hospital celebrated on Tuesday with the release of a music video featuring its staff. The hospital's superintendent had lent his vocals to the musical production. He'd also lent his arm to an even greater cause, the phase two clinical trial for Medigen's COVID vaccine. I've already finished my regimen. It's been okay. I haven't experienced many side effects. We've also gotten together some in the public who are willing to volunteer for Medigen's trial. With the goal of recruiting 3,700 volunteers in total, Medigen is now seeking older adults for its trial. Vaccination is already underway in other countries, and Taiwan is racing to procure foreign-made jabs and to develop its own. Adimune, Medigen and United Biomedical each have a candidate in the pipeline. Medigen was first to get phase two approval, and it hopes to secure emergency use authorization in June. At our 11 hospitals with emergency response duties, nearly all the healthcare workers have signed up for the national vaccination campaign. So I have a lot of confidence in our future vaccination campaign. Over at Taipei Medical University Hospital, 800 volunteers have been recruited for phase two testing. The first to get the jab was Lin Jun Mao, who heads the hospital's business development office. His participation in a trial managed by his own hospital had raised concerns over a conflict of interest. The Food and Drug Administration has responded, saying that there is no conflict, because Lin is neither directly responsible for the clinical trial nor a member of the staff carrying out the trial.